Hi, this is Nico. Thank you for tuning in. Today is going to be a quick video to show you how I invert my negative scans into positive images using Photoshop and no extra plugin. Let's do it. So let's get straight into it. This is my uh, raw file that I took with the digital camera. I'm opening it in camera raw. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to get white balance of the film stock of the borders. Now that it's done, I'm going to take a second to check that the RVB values are the same at all four corners of the picture. That way I'm making sure that my capture system was well aligned and that I got uh, uniform light throughout the frame. Then I'm opening the file in Photoshop and I'm going to make a first layer to invert the picture. I'm going to use curves and I'm dragging the white points all the way down to black and I'm lifting the black point all the way up to white. Now we have a positive image. We only have to correct the colors. I'm going to do a quick crop. And we're going to make our second adjustment layer, which is uh, a levels layer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select each channel, red, green, and blue, and I'm going to drag the black points and the white points to the edges of the histogram. I'm using the Alt key so that uh, I can see when the values are starting to get lost. And that's how I find the edges of the histogram. Now the blue channel. All right. Now we are just one step away from our final image. Let's have a look at the histogram. And uh, you can see that uh, on the original capture after inversion, there is a big spikes in blue and cyan and the reds are far behind on the histogram and that explains the huge blue cast that you can see on the picture. Things got better after we found our black and white points but it's still a bit too cold for my eye so I'm gonna make a new layer based on the layers underneath and I'm gonna apply camera raw filter to that new layer and what I'm gonna do is simply adjust the white balance tool to get rid of some of those cold deviations I was seeing. So I'm going to boost the yellows and a bit of the magenta. While I'm here, I'm going to do some brightness adjustments. I'm going to push the shadow down a bit because this scan was quite bright. And that's it. And now I have an image that's much closer to the reality of that September day in Texas a few years ago. So now I can click OK and those settings get applied to that layer. So to recap, first we did a curves layer to invert the image. Then we did levels where we found the black and white points on each channel. And lastly, we did a camera filter for color and brightness corrections. Three layers, no extra plugin, boom. Now, before we end this video, let's have a quick word about calibration. You might be tempted to compare this technique I've just shown you to a file you got from the lab or something you process for the plugin you've been using. But keep in mind, there is no such thing as a straight out of camera color negative. It's always meant to be interpreted. So let your taste and your style and the images you envision be the thing you calibrate against. And then use whatever method will get you the results that you want. Okay, so that was it. As you can see, it's very simple. Um, and then it's just about training your eye to see the difference in color and uh, variations from the look you're trying to get. Uh, I hope this was helpful to you and I'll talk to you some other time about some other topic. Cheers.